All right, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply heat shrink tubing to an electrical joint. In electrical wiring, one thing that we are always careful about is making sure that we insulate all conductive parts of our wiring system. And so talking about heat shrink tubing, we are talking about a method of insulating electrical conductive parts with a plastic tube. All right, so heat shrink tubing is a type of plastic that shrinks when heated, creating a tight seal around wires or connections or electrical joints. So, unlike the normal insulation tape that we use, heat shrink tubing provides a tighter seal around cables. It can be used for electrical insulation purposes. It can also be used as a barrier against moisture dust, and other environmental factors that can damage electrical components. The tight seal created by the tubing prevents corrosion and other forms of deterioration to cables. They come in various colors and they can also be labeled to make it easier for electricians to identify and trace specific wires within a complex electrical system and also to make maintenance and troubleshooting simple. First of all, I'll have to do my joint but then there are some tools I need to help me to do this properly. And so this is a heat gun. And this is what I'll be using to heat the tube around the joint. And then I also need a stripper and then a plier. Okay, before I join these two cables together, we'll have to measure a length of the tube that we would like to apply at the joint and then cut it. We'll measure and cut the tube. And then the next thing is that we will insert one side of the cables that we are joining into the tube like this. Okay, and the next thing we do is to do our jointing. proper joint, I'll be soldering the joint. Now our joint is done by soldering. So we push the sleeve to cover the joint or the area where we want to apply the tubing. Okay. The next thing we do is that we plug the heat gun and then there is a nozzle that we can apply here so that it will direct the heat appropriately. So here, on the heat gun, there is a regulator. So depending on the amount of heat you want, you can regulate it. So here, let me put it at four. And then we switch it on. So gently, we start from the center. Then we apply it gently on the tubing. All right, so here you realize that this cannot be easily removed unless you intentionally want to destroy it. Unlike the insulation tape where 
Sometimes it can even unroll by itself. This is a very more effective way of insulating an electrical joint. All right, so this is how to apply heat shrink tubing to an electrical conductor. Specifically in this video, I needed it to insulate the joint that I made between these two cables. In another instance, you can use a colored tubing to mark your cables. All right, so for instance, if you have two black cables in your wiring and you want to show that one is live, you can use a red heat shrink tubing on the other one so that it will indicate that it is a live wire. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more of such educative videos. And if you like what you have watched, click on the like button, share the video with your friends and stay connected. Thank you very much again. See you in my next video.